this video I want to walk through a pretty cool and simple algorithm and uh, how to implement it in Python. So the problem is that uh, given a set of tasks uh, where each task has a starting time and an ending time, uh, we want to compute the largest subset of non-overlapping intervals. So what that means is that we want to do as many of these tasks as possible but none of them can overlap each other. Um, and how we solve this, which one can prove, uh, is uh, by a greedy algorithm, which is that we pick the task with the earliest ending time first. So in this case, this one, uh, the first one, has the earliest finish time, which means that we pick that one. And then what we want to do is that we want to uh, disclude uh, these, the, the second and the third one, because visually we can obviously see that the they overlap the first one which means that uh, the finish time of this one is uh, greater than the starting time of this one right for them to not overlap the finish time of this one needs to be less than or equal to the starting time of the other task all right so Let's try to code this solution. And let's see, I've already copied uh, the tasks here. Uh, so, or R for requests. So what we want to, and this, these are the same as uh, the image. So for example, R1 is uh, this one, starts at zero and ends at three. So the first one is the starting time, second one is the ending time. And then we want to uh, put all of these in a list. Or eight like this. And remember, what we want to do is that we want to pick the earliest finish time first, which means that we have to sort it. And also, this is a list of tuples, and we want to sort it by the second element. So one can do this by using the, uh, the lambda like this. So we want to sort with the key lambda with, with x. We want to sort with the second element of the tuple. All right. And then we want to have an optimal solution, which we call O, where we will append uh, the tasks or the requests which are in the optimal solution. Okay, so then we want to define interval scheduling, which takes a set of requests and also O, the empty uh, list. And then the goal is that we want to have returned O. So let's see, we can call this here interval scheduling of R and O, and we want to re receive O. And then we can print O. All right. So now to the actual algorithm. What we want to do is that we can, st we can start by having a finish time of zero. And then we want to uh, go through each request in R. And remember, these are sorted already by, uh, by finish time, which we did here. And then if the 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 starting time of this one is greater or equal to the finish time of the one uh, the one that we're currently looking at. I remember we, we've initialized it at zero, uh, as zero. Uh, then it means that it's a viable ne next option, right? Because then they don't overlap. And we just go by the principle of taking the one that has the earliest finish time first. And since it's already sorted, that will be the next one in the list, as long as they don't overlap. So we look, if finish is less than or equal to R of zero, right? This means that the finish time of the one that we're currently looking at, and she initialized as zero, is less than or equal to uh, the starting time of R of zero, which will hold for the first one, right? Zero less than zero. If this is the case, then the finish time we will just set as the finish time of that particular task. 
and we will append this to our optimal solution and believe it or not the algorithm is that simple this will uh, provide us the optimal solution uh, first I did it in a much more complicated way than this but this works so why not pick the simple one right so if we run this uh, on the example of the, the image I have then it says that we should pick uh, the, the request 0336 and 810 so this means that we should pick this one right 0 to 3 then we uh, disclude these two and uh, we pick this one because it's had the earliest finish time so we pick this one this one and then we pick since these are all not included we pick the last one so the optimal solution are those three for uh, for a total of three tasks all right hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in another one hopefully